Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight our tour continues, and we are heading to La Crosse, Wisconsin. So we're going to be in the Great Lakes area, and there's the La Crosse Center right there. We're going to select it. Hopefully we sell it out, but we might be just a little bit short. We'll go back to our main menu here. We don't have any backstage incidents, believe it or not. Let's see who's absent. Nothing but the usuals. All right, let's take a look at our card and give it a rundown. In our opener, Vivian St. John is going to face Candy Divine. The Top Guns are going to battle Bad Company. Wendy Richter is going to challenge Sherry Martell for the world women's title. The Terrorist is going to face Baron Von Rotschke. Greg Wojciechowski is going to mix it up with the legendary Wahoo McDaniel. Billy Robinson is going to face Greg Gagne. Bobby Duncombe is going to meet Jerry Lawler in the semi-main. And in our main event, Oliver and Summers are going to challenge the Midnight Rockers for the world tag team title. You know what time it is. I know what time it is. Everybody knows what time it is. Let's get to booking. All right, all right. St. John versus Divine. And let's take a look here. There's Candy Divine. And there's Vivian St. John. I learned that Vivian St. John actually retired in late 1987. She had a daughter. And if I read correctly, she and her daughter uh, died tragically in a car accident. If I, th I think I, that's what I read correctly sometime in the 90s so what a what a sad story that is but uh, here we are Vivian St. John still wrestling in our game let's take a look and see how this one's going Vivian St. John got the win the last time so Candy Divine is going to get the win this time Candy Divine despite being a heel is an obvious contender for the world women's title next we got the top guns and bad company and these have been some pretty bad matches so far. But what are you going to do? It's two young teams. There's the Top Guns. And there is... Bad Company. I don't know why I just drew a mental blank there. But I did. Ricky Rice, of course, is injured. Paul Diamond is injured. This one's going to give a really, really bad score, even worse than usual. So, Bad Company won the last time, so the Top Guns are going to get the win this time. <laughs> I expect that one's going to be like a 10 score overall. So, Wendy Richter versus Sherry Martell. It's going to go 12 minutes here. And, of course, it is for the Ladies' Crown. There's Wendy Richter. And there is Sherry Martell. Let's see who won the last one. Wendy Richter won the last time. So Sherry Martell is going to get the win this time. And of course, she is going to cheat. Now, somebody, uh, one of our viewers, I don't want to say somebody, but one of our viewers brought up the fact that we are at risk of losing a lot of our top talent here. And they're afraid that Buddy Rose is just the beginning. Well, I agree. We are potentially in some trouble here, and we are potentially going to lose some of our top talent, which is uh, realistic to exactly what happened to the AWA in the 1980s. Luckily, we have most of our top talent locked up for one year on a written contract but you're right when those contracts come to expire i i don't know what's going to happen and i am just as concerned as you are all right we just booked the terrorist versus baron von rotschke now we got wojakowski versus mcdaniel another 14 minute match and we'll be sure to check this one to see who won the last match Greg Wojciechowski has been working out very well for us here in the AWA. 
Very pleased with this signing. Uh, Wojciechowski won the last time. So McDaniel is going to win this time, and it's going to be by DQ. Got to keep this feud hot. Right, Robinson versus Ganya. Yes, Greg Ganya is the world television champion, but Lacrosse doesn't know that. It's not going to air until next Saturday. So we cannot parade Greg Gagne around as the world television champion because the show hasn't aired yet. So it's an obviously a non-title match. And we're going to have Billy Robinson go over here. Yes, we're going to continue without it being a title match. Duncan versus Lawler has been putting up some pretty steady numbers for us. There's Bobby Duncan. And there is Jerry Lawler. I think Duncan took the last one here. He did. Actually, their last match went to a double DQ, but that was on television. So Jerry Lawler is going to get the win here. And our main event is going to go 30 minutes. That's the new tag team of Oliver and Summers versus the Midnight Rockers. So Buddy Rose is out. We've plugged Rip Oliver in, and it's working out pretty well for us. Obviously, Rip Oliver is not as over and is not as good as Buddy Rose, but it's been a good tag team nonetheless. Now, we have to get them over here, so we're going to have Rip Oliver win, but it's going to be by count out. Got to get some heat going to this feud. So it's booked. Everybody's cool. And let's go ahead. We're at our usual time here, 2 hours, 22 minutes. Everything's looking good. Everything's on the up. Let's go ahead and start the show. Ooh, got some red text to doom there from Candy Divine. Despite her win, this one gets a 35. Top Guns and Bad Company did a lot better than I thought it would. We did get the red text to doom, but we got a 31 overall, so that's good. Richter and Martell continue to have excellent numbers here. They get a 67. Terrific. All right. Von Rotsky gets the win here with the Brain Claw. He's really off his game. We have no idea why. 64 overall. 81. Wojciechowski and McDaniel gets an 81 overall. Excellent score. And this feud continues to heat up. All right, Ganya and Robinson, 83-83. Both guys are super over in Wisconsin. The only kickback here, and by kickback I mean setback, should be declining physical ability, but somehow we get knocked down four points from a declining physical ability. Doesn't make much sense, but a whole lot in TEW, and this save doesn't. So let's move along. All right, Duncan and Lawler, 86, 83. Both men are super over in Great Lakes, and we get an 82. So again, I can't explain that one. Not a single knock. Bonus city here across the board, and we get an 82. All right, let's see if they screw us here in the main. And they don't. The main gets an outstanding score of an 89 overall. Of course, Rip Oliver is the weak link, but he's doing just fine. He's got some decent chemistry here with Doug Summers. So, hey, this is good. That's a good score for us. Uh, Michaels and Jenny are, are not because of inexperience, but that doesn't really matter. They are great tag team champions for us. Let's go ahead and finish the show. And our popularity gets an up. Of course, we're going to give a speech here. Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty, 
and Doug Summers. Doug Summers, praise for great performance. Marty Gennetti, good performance. Shawn Michaels, great performance. Summers is pleased. Gennetti is pleased. And Michaels is pleased. All right, folks, that takes care of that one. So, week one on this block is completed. We'll be heading over to week two, which means we'll be kicking off in Milwaukee. We got a couple spot shows before then. We're going to be running in Madison, Wisconsin at a local high school for a fundraiser. And then we're going to be running in Waukesha, Wisconsin for another fundraiser. And that's heading back from, we just ran in La Crosse, from La Crosse on our way to Milwaukee. We are going to stop off and do these two spot shows on Wednesday and Thursday of the next week. What is this? <laughs> Central States is already going to quit the alliance that it created, the World Wrestling Alliance. Well, at least the WWA lasted a little while. This is pretty funny. It's very funny, actually. Let's see if anybody joined that alliance. I don't think they did, but you never know. Yeah, the alliance already folded. The World Wrestling Alliance has already folded. <laughs> That's just good, clean fun right there. Oh, Rod Trongard wants a pay request to pay up and pay now, too. He wants $650 a show. Okay, we'll give it to you, Rod, and then we're going to turn around and not give it to you. <laughs> All right. So, that uh, there's nothing else too exciting going on. WWF ran. Look at that. Buddy Rose in the main in Canada against Junkyard Dog. DiBiase and Patera in a cage. This isn't too awful of a card. Not too awful of a card at all. Let's see about world class here. Sorry about that. Sorry about the interruption. It's from an old D&D &D group I used to belong to. Main event. Running the Bell City Expo Center. Kerry Von Erich and the Grappler versus Madrill and Bruiser Brody in the main. Huh. Not a bad card here. 72 overall. Fair enough. Good for you, world class. Our friends. Our alliance. Fellow alliance members. Good for them. So, all right. I think that's going to wrap it up for us here, folks. Like I said, tomorrow. We're going to have our spot show, and a big spot show indeed, even though I haven't put together a card for it. But it's going to be a big spot show, I promise. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks again for tuning in. Be right back at you tomorrow. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and like this video and give us a share. Also, join us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. And last but not least, if you would like the mod version 7.0, please go to braddrake.net, drop me a line, and I'll be more than happy to send you a link to not only the database, but also the picture pack. Thanks, everybody. So long for now.